You're watching KPVI News at 5, news that works for you. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. And I'm Marley Serby. Pocatello City officials met today for a special executive session. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Deanne Coffin was there. She joins us now live from the newsroom. And Deanne, what did you find out? Thanks, Matt and Marlies. Not much was revealed to us about the Hoku property, but city leaders say they are still hopeful when it comes to that facility. Hawaii-based company Hoku Materials started building their facility in Pocatello back in March of 2007. The city was given a sense of hope that it would create jobs and industry expansion. So much hope that they leased the property to Hoku for a dollar a year for 99 years. In 2013, Hoku filed bankruptcy and the city entered into a lease agreement with J.H. Kelly. J.H. Kelly has since sold the assets and facility to VA Metals. Today, the Pocatello Development Authority held a special meeting inside City Hall to discuss the Hoku property. Uh, the agenda for the Pocatello Development Authority uh, had uh, an action item for Hoku. Uh, there was no action taken on the Hoku property. They entered into an executive session um, where they discussed a number of different things. And uh, unfortunately, as much as I wished I could, I cannot um, speak about or respond to anything, disclose anything that happened in the executive session. The mayor says the meeting was more about information gathering. The desire is to remove that, uh, the dirt or the, the land from the Pocatello Development Authority and start to have somebody start developing that area, whether it be uh, a business park or whether it be a polysilicone plant. The desire is to get that land into productive uh, use. The mayor says they have been working on the property for years. Uh, my hope and my desire is that, it, that we find somebody that is going to locate there and that and that is going to uh, actually make that and bring that into productive uh, land and property. The mayor says over the years, different companies have expressed interest in the property, but none have acted on it or made any offers. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI News That Works For You. Okay, thank you very much, Deanne.